Hello, hello, everyone. I hope you all are doing well. You know, the enemy is so mad. I see my camera glitching right now, and I really believe uh, it's my um, camera that I use that's connected to my laptop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the intro video one more time so you have an opportunity to share the live again, and then we're going to come back without my extra camera on this computer. So I will see you all very, very soon. Um, share, 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 because these women are about to take us to the next level. <laughs> All right, the enemy will not stop the show on today. We are back. So you all are getting uh, the full me at this point. So my background is not as cropped and pretty, but that is okay. That is okay. So I am super excited. This has been so powerful so far, and I am in eager expectation of what these ladies are about to pour out to you all. And our first feature powerhouse speaker is an amazing woman of God. She is doing great things um, in business as well as she is showing up for the glory and the honor of God. Um, she is going to tell you more about herself and she is going to give you what God has given her. So get ready, buckle your seatbelts, share, 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 engage in the comments, be present with us because I know this is going to be good. I love you all. And without further ado, Miss Erin Pitt. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. I am so excited to be with you all here today. And just like you said, Shabbat, the enemy was trying and up to his usual tactics, but no, he is not going to win because it is time for us to take off. This morning has already been so rich with everybody pouring out already. And just think like we still have more sessions today and we still have a whole other day tomorrow. So I hope that you guys are getting everything that you need to prepare for takeoff. Um, as Siobhan said, my name is Erin Pitt. I'm a small business consultant. Uh, I'm also a leadership and life coach where I help women build. And that's just becoming unwavering in life decisions and really helping them to get off the sideline and in the game. And I am coming to you all this morning from my virtual stage right here in Dallas, Texas. And although I won't be before you long, I want you to get your cup ready so you can receive what I have that the Lord has given me and placed in my heart. So if you're a note taker like me, get your pen and your paper and just get ready to take some notes so we don't miss anything. So number one, in order to prepare for takeoff, we got to prepare. Like, in order to get ready for takeoff, we have to prepare. And in that preparation, we just start by first deciding where it is we're going. I don't know about you, but I have never booked a flight and did not have a destination. Matter of fact, you can't book a flight unless you know where you're going. The same way you wouldn't get in a car and just drive indefinitely without knowing that you have to know where you're going. So the first thing we need to do 
in that preparation is decide where you're going. And over in Proverbs um, 4 and I believe it's 25, it says, let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet and let your ways be established. Don't turn to the left or to the right. Remove your foot from evil. And just knowing the direction that you want to go, it helps you to stay on track because we do know that distractions are going to come. But if you know where you're going and you're intentional about it, anything that is going to keep you from your destiny is a distraction and it can't go. So that's the first thing we have to do, and that is to prepare. The next thing that we need to be able to do before we take off is to pack your bags. Now, you have to pack for where you're going, not where you're at. So you may need a winter jacket in D.C., let's just say in November. But if you're going to Jamaica in November, then you might have something else in your suitcase, right? You might be packing some tank tops. You might have some shorts that you're going to pack with you because that's not needed for where you're going. But y'all know whenever we got a trip plan, we got some shopping to do, right? So you have to take a look and ask yourself, what is it do I need to actually pack? What do I need to take with me? And we got some shopping that we need to do, right? So you may need to shop for a coach. You may need to shop for a mentor to take off. You may need to shop for a building that you're about to get. But you have to actually do the work and actually find out what it is that you need in this next season to take off. And let me tell you, even though we're getting excited and this is to get us ready and prepared for the next year, you can take off now. You can start preparing now. So don't just let this be something feel good that you've heard already from some of the other speakers. Like now is the time to start preparing. Now is the time to start shopping for what you need for that next season. And like I said, that can start right now. You don't have to wait for that. But let me give you this caveat to packing your bags. Even though you need to get what you need so you don't miss it. You have to watch what you pack because if you've ever packed your bags and it's been too heavy and you've gotten to the airport, they're going to charge you, right? So you got to realize that overpacking and taking what you need is going to cost you. Everything and everybody can't go. Now, I know I don't need to say that again, but I'm going to say it again. Everything and everyone can't go. So while you're packing your bags, you got to be really careful of what you're putting in there. Because if that bag is too heavy, first of all, it's going to weigh you down for taking off. And then it's going to cost you. But the cost may be more than you want to pay. So that may mean you may have to leave some people. You may have to leave some old mindsets. You may have to leave some friendships. And you may have to actually just condense what you're packing in because you can't afford in this season to overpack. And it costs you taking off to where you're supposed to go. The next thing in all of this when you're even getting into getting what you need and you're searching for the right coach or you're searching for the right mentor, you have to invest in yourself. It's just not an option because if you could already have gotten there by yourself, you would be there. But if you're not where you want to be just yet, get what you need. 
Like there's no reason to be left behind for what God is calling you to do and what you know that you're supposed to do right now. The next thing that I want to just put in here while we're doing all of this packing, I'm going to really, really, really hone in that I don't want you to cancel your flight. And canceling your flight looks like self-sabotage. It looks like you not betting on yourself in this season. You know everything that has been placed in you. You have the desire to do these things. But you tell yourself, well, you know what? I don't speak good enough. I don't have the degree. I don't have the certification. I don't have the money. There's, the list goes on and on. And a lot of times we cancel our own flights. We don't take off. It's usually easier to blame it on somebody else. But we are the ones that cancel our own flights. But I am going to boldly decree that you can't afford not to take off. Because there are other people who are not only connected to you, but they're waiting for you to take off. Your spouse is waiting for you to take off. Your children are waiting for you to take off. Your coworkers are waiting for you to take off. The lady in Walmart who God is gonna place in your path is waiting for you to take off. We have four past the time to delay our flights, to cancel our flights, and the things that we actually need to do, we know what it is already. We pitter-patter about what it is we don't have without actually looking at what we already have been given to work with. Because the Bible tells us that God has already given us the ability to create wealth. But we sit around and we think, okay, well, we need this or we need that. What do you have in your hand already that you're not using? And I know all very well about self-sabotage, even when it was coming to me even doing this speaking engagement. I started telling myself, well, you know, I, I can do this later. You know, there'll be another time. The time is now because there's never going to be a better time because as God continues to give us more of his nature, as he continues to refine us, we get to be more and more bold and confident to step out in the things that he's calling us to do. So whatever that looks like for you, Whatever that looks like, even if you don't necessarily, let's say, have the faith right now, because you do have to build your faith up. And even if you're not there right now, partner your faith with somebody else who does. Get with somebody who has what you need in this season so that you can take off. There's no reason for us to stay here. There's a forward progressing that we have to do. So a lot of times we like to say that we're stuck, but it's not even so much that we're stuck. It's just that we haven't decided to move. And if that is the case, then it all goes back to getting what you need when you're packing your bags. It all goes back to how you prepare because what you do while you wait and how you wait matters. You can wait and murmur. You can wait and complain. You can wait and do nothing. But ask yourself, really, like, what is that doing to really further you along into what you're doing? And as you're shedding all of these things and as you're looking at what you need for, for takeoff, you got to realize that even the things that you're going into right now, flying could be scary for some people. 
And I know even for me, there's been many a times where I have spent build, building others up, encouraging others, helping them build whatever it is that they needed to build. But secretly, I had a fear of flying myself. And it's something that you look at and you're cheering everybody else on, but you have to realize that you matter as well. And the reason that you can go ahead and take off and be confident and get ready to fly is because heaven is backing you. You're not doing this thing alone. There's a you that you haven't even met yet. There's ideas that you haven't even executed on yet. There's so many things that we have not given ourselves the opportunity to even book the flight. It's time for us to really open up and realize that staying where we are is no longer an option because we've given ourselves this illusion that we have time. You don't always have the time you think you have to get it together. That's why it's important to get what you need. You don't have to figure this thing out. And I just want to say that again. You don't have to figure this out on your own. Find you a coach. Find you a mentor, even if it's a spiritual mentor. Whatever you need to take off to this next season, you can find it. You can go partner your faith with somebody else. There's no reason for us to be behind. And what all of this becomes shedding. There's a lot of shedding that has to be done before takeoff. It just made me think of... Um, What is it? I believe it's Mark. I know it's, it's Mark. And it's verse, chapter 2, verse 22. And it reads, And no one puts new wine into old wineskins, or else the new wine bursts the wineskins, and the wine is spilled, and the wineskins are ruined. But new wine must be put into new wineskins. It really does. There's an old nature that you can't take into this next season that you're taking off into. There's a lot of things that you have to believe behind. That may mean missing out on special occasions for your friends or for your family. And that's okay. It may look like you saying, well, you know what? I can't do this anymore. I don't want to go there anymore because I'm telling you, as you are being refined, that old thing, I don't want that old thing back. I really don't. I'm ready to walk into everything that God is calling me to. And I just implore you guys right now to boldly make the declaration that it is time for takeoff. I know it's been said all morning by everybody, but if you really get that in your spirit and realize that it's time for takeoff, you're going to start moving differently. There's going to be a lot of things that you do because you know that it's not in alignment to getting you to the destination that you're trying to go into. There's nothing wrong we're trying to figure it out, but I think we've been at this place for long enough because you do know everybody at the airport is not catching a flight. So I want you guys to pack your bags because it's time to take off and I'll see y'all there. Be blessed. Yes, that was so good. Oh my goodness. Aaron, the comments were going crazy. Uh, look, you have so many people love who love you who are here. They're saying, look, that's my sis. And so I'm just so excited because, oh my goodness, the revelation you just brought 
to the takeoff process from the beginning to the end. Look, y'all, don't cancel your flight. That that one right there, it, it struck a nerve with me. Don't cancel your flight because you go through things and you think, you know what? I'll just cancel my flight, you know, maybe another time. But we cannot cancel our flight. It is time for takeoff. Aaron, that was absolutely amazing and wonderful. Please share with the people how they can connect with you today. Aaron also is a, a coach as well. Um, so I'm super excited for her. She is a leadership and life coach certified, certified and I'm super excited. And I'm so glad that you decided to step out and share because this was truly phenomenal. So share with everyone how they can connect with you today. Oh, Siobhan, girl, this was tough. <laughs> you did amazing. You know how I was calling and, and sending you messages. I'm like, whoo. And no one would have known. But <laughs> to stay in contact with me um, right now, you can definitely um, reach out, contact me, send me a message on Instagram. My username is AaronPitt81. On Facebook is simply Aaron Pitt. And I'm building out my new professional page right now. So you'll soon be able to follow me at Bill with Aaron. So I am excited about everything that God is doing in my life and that everything that he is going to do through me. So I am just glad I had this opportunity and that I didn't cancel my flight today. Amen. I sure on. didn't. You sure did. I love you, sis. Love you. See you later. <laughs> See ya. And you all, oh my goodness, that was absolutely amazing. God is so good. He knows what we need. During this conference, God is giving us what we need. And the fact that you are here, it means that there are some people here that are going to release something that is needed for this new season that you are in. And not only that, that you may need to connect with further. So keep your ears open to what Holy Spirit is saying, as well as what they are releasing, because it's going to bless your life. So our next speaker, I've known her since college. And God allowed us to reconnect. She is a powerful woman of God doing great things in the earth. She has a nonprofit organization. She goes around the world sharing her stories and helping to impact lives that have similar story as hers. And so I'm just super proud of her. And so without any further delay, doctor, as of 2021, doctor, Francis Bailey. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me, Siobhan. I'm excited. I'm excited. I was sitting back. I was just couldn't. Uh, what Aaron shared was amazing. I'm excited for everyone that's here, that's tuning in for whatever um, you're going to hear today, what God placed on my heart. Of course, um, I went by the leading of the Holy Spirit, and he gave me some things he wanted to share. But first, I want to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Francis Ann Bailey. I am a TEDx speaker, a best-selling author, a life coach, a certified Christian counselor, a podcast host, and I wear many other hats. I'm a servant of God, and I'm just here today to share what he wants me to share. A lot of people know me as the um, Purpose Zeal Coach, and some know me as the Power Shift Coach. And today, I'm going to be stepping in as the Power shift coach because we're talking about it's time to take off right and when it's time to take off to me it means that you're shifting from one area to the other area it's time to make a shift right and I can't there's plenty plenty of different things that you need to know when you're beginning to shift and taking off and going where God is calling you to do or moving in that new territory that he has for you but I'm only going to be on like just three tips. I'm not going to keep y'all on here long at all. I think I got about 15 minutes. I might not even use all of that, but I am going to give what God wanted me to share. So um, three tips in order to be getting ready to make that power shift, to get ready to take off. You have to realize first that there is more to you than you think. And you, you guys, when God first gave this to me, literally before I came on here, he gave me a revelation and I was like, oh, that's what you meant. He said, there's more to you than you think. You have to know that there's more to you than you think. And he gave me the scripture, Ephesians 3, 
20, right? Our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. So I began to break the scripture down. I said, okay, you're able to do exceedingly abundantly, not exceedingly and abundantly. Some people put, break it down with that conjunction in the middle. Now he says exceedingly and abundantly of all that we could ask or think. So he's going to even exceed the fullness of whatever we ask or think. And then he began to give me the revelation. He said, that's what I mean by it's more to you than you think. When you tap into who I am and what work that power that I have placed on the inside of you, what you think is even more than what you're thinking. That you are, he has placed you here as a greater being, that he has created you in his image, that you are able to um, produce, you are able to create, right? When he said he made us in his image and his likeness, right? It's not about the physical. It's about the spiritual. God created, he spoke, right, the earth into existence. He spoke and created the heavens and the earth, right? So he's given us that same ability. Sometimes it starts with us. It's the power that works within us. So when it's time to take off, start working your power that he's placed in you, the power he's given you to create and multiply and, and take over the marketplace and help take this person to the next level. Right. So that's the first thing is to realize that there's more to you than you even think. And I challenge everyone who's ready to take off, who's thinking about taking off. If you don't have the ability to even ask God right now, if you feel like I don't, I can't ask God that, which you shouldn't feel unworthy because in him, you know, that's what makes us worthy. But just begin to think on those things. Think and see yourself already there. You know, before I started speaking international, I saw myself speaking international, right? I went and I got my passport because I said, I saw myself doing that. And God will be able to blow your mind when you do, when you do that. So you are more than you think, right? Um, the next thing is knowing your identity. Oh, good goodness. This is still under that. There's more to you than you think. The enemy will come to try to steal your identity and you will not take off if you do not believe who you are in God. You will stay complacent because you do not believe you don't you don't have an identity but when you know who you are in God and he says you're fearfully and wonderfully made and you can do all things through me and with God with me all things are possible you are going to jump in and take it because guess what you're not going on your own you have an identity of Christ and he's with you and he's going to take you and he's going to fulfill every promise he is a man that he cannot lie so you will have an identity in him and begin to take off also begin to speak, right? There's more to you. As I said, there's more to you than you think. So begin to speak those things, right? Begin to speak like power, um, life and death is in your tongue. Begin to speak and, and say, um, you know, speak those things that are not as though they are, right? You know, and one of the first obstacles of knowing that is getting in God's word. So you can become more than what you think. You, that you can become that what's more, what's in you. That, that's ready to come out, right? The second thing is maintaining your joy, right? When shifting, I'm not even gonna sit here and pretend that things are gonna be easy. When you get ready to shift, things get uncomfortable, right? Like um, Aaron was saying, sometimes you gotta drop people off. You gotta cut some people off. You gotta cut some habits off. You gotta cut some things off, some places, all of that kind of stuff. God begins to set you apart when he gets ready to, to take you to the next level. And sometimes you begin to lose your joy behind it. And God begins to point out in his scripture, he says that for the joy of the Lord is your strength. A lot of times we are praying for strength on this journey when God is beginning to shift us, but God is saying, really, you're just missing your joy. So it began to make me realize, well, what is the the, where does the joy come from? How can I, in the fullness, in the presence of God, there, there is nothing but his joy. But how do you stay in the presence? How do you stay connected to him? That's the answer right there. Stay connected to the source. So on your way of being taken off and going to this next level, you have to stay connected to God. That's just part of the, the takeoff process, right? Maintaining your joy and you're going to maintain your joy while trying to take off by staying connected, staying connected to the main source of the one who's taking you there. You guys, then God gave me the last one. He said, rest in me, but still take action. 
And that just was a mind blower for me. He said, rest in me, but still take action. Because a lot of people misinterpret what resting in God means. They, they, they said, I'm just waiting on God to do this. But God is saying, I'm telling you to take off and I'm going to do it on the way that it's already done. But you got to go ahead and take off. You have to go. You have to take action. Rest in me by knowing that the plans I have for you is to produce good things. My plans are what he said in Jeremiah, for I know the plans of you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you and plans to give you a hope and a future. If you keep that, keep that in your heart, hide that in your heart, but still take action, right? Rest in God and say, God, I trust you. And that God began to say, but you know, some can't trust me because they don't know me. They don't have a re real relationship with me. And he began to say, you know, on this process of getting ready to take off, Start keeping your relationship, rekindle that fire with him. So when he gets ready to take you off, you're able to have that trust in place. You're able to say, God, I really trust what you're telling me to do. And I, now I have no choice but to move, God. I, I, I trust in you. I'm going to rest in you, but I'm still going to go ahead and do what you tell me to do. And some, you know, I wanted to let some people know who may be tuning in. Well, how do I take how do I take action, God? How do I still take action, right? Um, because we'll just say, you know, I got faith, I got faith, and God is about to do it. But God has also set up some strategic moves that we have to do while we're resting in him. And one of the things is networking and collaboration. Stop, you know, don't compete with others. Start collaborating, start networking, start meeting others. Some people are put in place to help you to take off. So while you're resting and trusting God that he's telling you to do this and do that, also connect, be willing to show yourself friendly to connect with people so that you can be able to go to the next, right? And procrastination and get consistent. I saw a post not too long ago. Someone said, the only thing that's stopping you from winning is your inability to finish what you even started. In this thing of taking off, God wants consistency. He wants faithfulness. He wants commitment. So he says, when I get ready to tell you to do this, you're giving me a yes. Stay consistent on this way of taking off. Take off, but be consistent and faithful and, and um, determined in this process. You know, God rewards faithfulness because I always say this, God is looking for a yes. That's what he wants. He wants somebody to, to, to just give him a yes. And if you won't, somebody will. So sometimes we, you know, if you go back to even that first step that I had just said and say, there's more to me and you begin to rest in God and you begin to know your identity, you know, he'll be able to give you those inner um, values such as being consistent, holding yourself accountable because the Holy Spirit will begin to teach you and mold you and tell you what you need to be doing. Um, on your journey of taking off, it is so awesome to have a kind of a, an accountability partner. I say this um, because I had an accountability partner. It, when you're taking off, you may get on the, the to stay aware, maybe you think that I don't need to do anything else. What I'm doing is good enough, but it's good to have somebody to say, no, it's time to take it to the next level, which can come with an accountability partner, a coach, a mentor. It's always good to have someone who will tell you like it is and not just tell you what you want to hear. You need those good, real people around you when it's time for takeoff, because even while you're taking off, you could be doing something that may not even be right. And you want to be able to have that person there to hold you accountable to say, "Uh, -uh let's take a step back. Let's take a breather. This is what you need to do. I see I see that a different way that you could go about this. So it's good to have an accountability partner um, and hold yourself accountable because people can hold you accountable at all times. But until you can be able to hold yourself accountable, you don't want to slow down your takeoff because God will not take you nowhere where your character will not keep you, especially when you're trying to do it under him. You know, sometimes we we we'll get deal, and it doesn't mean that we're a bad person. No, it doesn't. God would just hold us back until he began to strip and mold those things out of us that he needs to be removed before we go to the next. So sometimes our us being delayed is just him pruning us and making us where he wants us to be before it's time to take off. And I just want to go back through if anyone is just tuning in just to give you those three steps again, just reiterate those three steps 
when you're making your power shift, accelerating in 2022 is to realize there is more to you than you think. You are made in God's image. God has created you to produce, to create, to multiply. You have an identity in him. You don't have to search. You don't have to wonder if you're good enough. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. There is life and death in your tongue. So on your way, taking off, speak life. Don't speak death, speak life and have people around you to speak life. Maintain your joy. How do you maintain your joy when everything isn't going your way? You want to be able to stay connected to the source so God can keep you strengthened while he's shifting you. So therefore you can remain joyful during your process. Resting in God, trusting his plan, but still taking actions. Faith without works is dead. Thank you, Siobhan, for having me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> These feature speech speakers have come through and got us all the way together. Francis, I love how you even brought down, brought out the understanding of um Sometimes we want strength, but in actuality, we need joy. joy. And yes. so when we go to God to get our joy by staying in his presence and staying connected, that makes all the difference in the world. And then you said, rest in me, but still take action. That's I know right. all that is bless everybody because we do need to get a proper understanding of what rest is. And I think that's so beautiful. And you gave us a lot of good tips for how to rest properly networking and connecting connect with friends in procrastination and build consistency my god and have an accountability partner oh my goodness francis everything you just shared was so good you all we are in position to take off we are yes. in position with what is being released unto us. We are in position to take off. So, Francis, I love you. Thank you for sharing. I love you, too. You, know, you know, when you uh, speakers come forth and you feel like, oh, man, y'all giving me everything. That's how I yeah. felt with these, uh, <laughs> these speakers, speakers. I was like, oh, my goodness, they're giving us everything. We got the meat, the, the side, the drink, and the dessert. <laughs> <laughs> so I loved it. Francis, thank you so much for sharing. Thank Please you for having me. Of course. Share with them how they can connect with you after this moment today. Absolutely. You can find me, Francis Ann Bailey, on um, just my regular profile. But if you want to follow me on my enterprise page, it's at Fran Ann Bailey. And I am that on all platforms. All right. Let's get connected. Let's get connected. Thank you so much, Francis. Thank I you, love you. Take care, everyone. I love you. <laughs> all right everyone so now it is time for another shift we are about to get ready for another dynamic panel it's our last panel of the day and this is christians and ministry and i am super excited for what is about to be released what is about to be shared because i know it is about to be mm, mm, good just like everything has been on today and i want to encourage you all if you are in the area join us tonight at the church so that we can meet in person destiny is fire is going to be with us and she is literally going to come with the boldness the confidence and the power from god so you don't want to miss that as well but we're about to shift because we have a panel left and another keynote speaker. I know y'all getting full, but wait, there's more. So join me in the next live. I will see you all very soon. Love you all.